to Inspiration Retreats with Shari. I'm your host, Dr. Shari, and I am super delighted that you tuned in again this week to hear God's Word. He has a special message just for you. So, let's take out our Bibles and let's get into it. But before we do, as always, let's pray. Most gracious and all wise God, creator of heaven and earth, Lord, we love you and we thank you. Father God, you sit high and you look low. Father, we just thank you that you give us life and life more abundantly. Lord, I ask you right now to sanctify my lips wholly. And Father God, let my words be your words. And Father God, regulate the meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth. And Father God, anoint the ears of your people so that they hear your voice and know that you want to lead them. Father God, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. God has us in Psalms. Psalm 23, it's a familiar psalm, and let's read it, and then we'll get into the message that God has for you and for me. Psalm 23, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God bless word, I tell you. He is so good to us, and He is saying this day that the message that He wants us to live by and to hear is, Be led. Be led. Be led this day by God. He wants to lead you in paths of righteousness. So if we can lift up that third verse, it says again, He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths, in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. What God wants us to do this day is to be led by Him. Be led by Jesus Christ. No matter what's going on in your life, be led by Him. And He will restore your soul. This is a psalm of trust. David was trusting in the Lord. And so this psalm is also a reminder for us to trust in the Lord. Just like a sheep. Like sheep, trust a shepherd to lead them into paths of righteousness. Lead them beside the still and calm waters. Lead them into those green pastures. God is saying for us this day, He will lead in the paths of righteousness. Sometimes as we're traveling along life's way, we might even have in our own minds that we need to get off on this exit. Or we see the detour signs coming up, but we don't want to detour. We want to keep straight through. When we know that danger is ahead, the signs are all there, we want to forge ahead. But God is saying to us today, He has given us the warning signs. He has given us the road signs. He has given us the detour signs. He has let us know that we might need to slow down. Or we might need to get over into the other lane because the lanes are shifting. But what God is ultimately saying is, follow Him. Be led. Be led by the right source. Be led by Jesus the Christ. Sometimes we want to be led by Satan and we don't even realize we're being led by Satan. But what Jesus is saying this day is be led by him. He will lead you in paths of righteousness. He will lead you so that your actual soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions are restored this day. He will make the path plain. All you have to do is be willing and obedient. Be willing to be led. And then once that willing heart has been touched by God, then be obedient to be led. Be led by Jesus this day in paths of righteousness. We're righteous because we are now reconciled to God. And the only way we can be righteous and have that right standing with God is to be in Jesus and Jesus in us. But then... It goes beyond that. He said, paths of righteousness. 
So we're righteous, but living a life that is righteousness. Our example to the world is living a life that is well-pleasing to God, demonstrating the love we have for God. When we show that love that we have for God, then that is righteousness. It's going to be demonstrated. It's going to be in our actions. It is totally based and founded in and on love. When we love, leading, being led in those paths of righteousness, God is saying this day, be led. If you have not been led to this point by Jesus Christ, this is your time. This is your day. All you have to do is surrender it all. Now Psalm 23 has a lot of great information in it and you can read it. Read it and read it and reread it. Let it digest and sink deep into your soul, knowing that you're the sheep of God's pasture. And He wants to lead you in those paths that are righteous. Righteousness. This day, give your heart to Him. Surrender it all. Surrender to God and be led by Him. Watch your life change. And love, love, love. Let love be the foundation of who you are. Because God is love. And those who love are known of God. Hallelujah. This day, give your heart to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. And be led. This is your invitation. All you have to do is say this beautiful and short prayer with me. God will hear it. When you say it from your lips, you're saying it out loud so that you hear it and others hear it. You put it out there, hallelujah, into the world. But then what he actually does is he hears you in your heart. When you say it, not just from your lips, but actually from your heart, hallelujah. So this day, speak from your heart. And out of the abundance of your heart, Will your mouth speak this day? Surrender to Jesus. Pray with me these words. Dear Lord, Father God, I am a sinner and I'm in need of a Savior. I believe your son Jesus the Christ died on a cross for me. I believe that on the third day he rose with all power and now he is seated at your right hand. I give my life to Him. I surrender it all. And now I ask you to come into my life. Change me. Change me. Make me new. And let me live life being led by you. I love you and I thank you now for saving my soul. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Dear heart, if you just said that prayer with me, and you truly meant it from your heart, God heard it, and now you are saved. That's right, you're saved from death, because now we have eternal life. You have a blessed hope. You have something to look forward to. You now have eternal life. So when you transition life here on earth, you actually transition to heaven. Hallelujah. God is waiting. He is, has, Jesus has been knocking at your heart, and now you have answered, and now you are saved. So you're saved from death into eternal life. But better than that, now, I know it doesn't seem like it can get better than that, but you start actually now living with Jesus, because now He is the Lord of your life. You don't have to wait until you get to heaven. You actually have Him now. And then His Holy Spirit is going to quicken your spirit, hallelujah, and He is going to lead you, guide you, direct you, and He is going to lead you in those paths of righteousness for His name's sake. When He said for His name's sake, that means he is not going to turn back or say something against his own word. He cannot lie. He cannot go against his own self. And so when he says in his blessed word that now you will be led in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. You are now connected with the master. God bless you abundantly. 
We pray that you get into a great Bible teaching, Bible believing church where you can fellowship with other Christian believers in Jesus Christ. That's right. Some people say they're a Christian, but they say they don't believe in Jesus Christ. That means that we're to be Christ-like. We're followers of Christ. We're Christians. And so, if you, if you get around people and they don't believe that Jesus died and rose again, they're not truly Christians. If they don't believe in the Holy Bible, if they don't believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then they can't really say that they're Christians. You put all of that together. So, dear hearts, get into a great Bible teaching, Bible-believing church, so that God's Word can continue to melt into your heart and become part of who you are. So not only are you righteous, but you live in paths of righteousness. God bless you abundantly.